So hey everyone, John Byrne here with Real Estate Coast to Coast with John Byrne and Friends. I am here with Katie Day. I know Katie through real estate coaching. I do Tom Ferry coaching and her name gets dropped so much in the Houston area because she's a video star. People up here think I might do some videos. She does killer videos. So Katie, take it away. Tell me who you are, where you work and kind of what your market's like right now. Yeah, will do. Thanks so much for having me, John. Um, so I am in Houston, Texas. I run a small real estate team. So we service the greater Houston area. So if you drop a pin in the middle of downtown, we basically go out about 45 minutes from downtown. Um, so that encompasses downtown Houston, as well as most of the major suburbs that you might hear thrown around, like Spring, uh, Humble, Cypress, Katy, Sugarland, Pearland, those types of areas. Um, as we continue to grow, we, we seem to attract agents that are um, in some of the suburbs. So our reach continues to kind of grow and, and we sell you know, a little bit further out as we continue to grow the team. Um, so that's a little bit about me. I've been in real estate since 2016 and we started a team in 2018 and have continued to grow since then. Thanks. So we were talking before we started recording about how crazy our markets are right now. So talk a, bit, a little bit about kind of what's happening in your market, anything that's weird, crazy, whatever. Yeah, so um, something that we're seeing kind of nationwide in most markets is that inventory is a lot lower than it normally is for this time of year, right? So right now we're sitting anywhere between 40 to 50% lower in inventory than we normally see for, you know, this time of year. Um, so, you know, as of right now, in uh, February 2021, I guess that's where we are, February 2021, <laughs> we're sitting around, around 1.7 to 1.8 months of inventory. So, you know, I mean, that's obviously a term I know you hear a lot, but basically if no more homes came on the market, homes continue to sell at the pace that they have been, we would run out of homes in around 1.7 to 1.8 months, which, you know, normally a balanced market's anywhere between three to six months of inventory. So, you know, sitting at 1.7 is definitely low um, for any time of year, let alone, you know, the beginning of the beginning of a new year um so with that we're seeing you know a lot of multiple offer situations we're seeing um you know situations in which a seller will just call for highest and best you know as soon as it goes on the market so they say hey we're putting it on the market on a thursday we're calling for your best offer by monday you know none of these games none of these bidding wars just give us you know your best shot um so we are seeing a lot of that but at the same time you know there are still some homes that haven't sold you know, that are, they're still in the market. So it's not like some other cities in Texas where you might hear that every home has a bidding war and people are paying hundreds of thousand dollars over lists. Um, you know, I think we're, we're fortunate to, to live in a time with low interest rates. Yeah. Um, so buyers have a lot more purchasing power than they may have had, you know, in, in 2019 or even in 2020. So, and we were talking about this on my last call, but I thought it might be fun to ask you too. I just had one that had eight offers. That's not the highest I've seen, but how many offers have you seen on one house? Um, as far as, at you. yeah, no, I know. I, I appreciate that. I, um, as far as an, uh, a listing that was ours that, you know, we obviously see all of the offers that actually come in. Okay. Um, I think the most I've seen was like 25 offers. Um, it was a property that was under $200,000, which are really hard to come by in Houston right now. Um, so, you know, you've got investors, you've got institutional investors, you've got actual home buyers and, and everything in between. So there's just a lot of, a lot of competition kind of in that price point. Makes sense. So Katie, right before we started recording, I was, you and I were also talking about kind of the mass exodus from Massachusetts to New Hampshire. Do you have anything like that in your area? No, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't California my Texas. No. So we're seeing a lot of, um, you know, migration to Texas from, you know, states like California and New York, um, a lot of kind of the Northeast. Um, you know, we've seen, you know, some from Massachusetts, but really like New York, Jersey, um, you know, that, that type of, of migration down here. Um, obviously, you know, the cost of living for what you can get as far as space is a lot different, you know. Um, homes are generally going to be newer than in the Northeast. Um, and then obviously California, um, people people talk about that a lot or hear that a lot, you know, that the people from California are moving to Texas, um, you know, notably like, you know, Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, things like that. But, you know, lots of Very normal cool. people too. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Katie. Last question I have, kind of a fun one. Tell me about Katie Day outside of real estate. 
Um, yeah, okay. I guess the two things that I enjoy most are uh, eating and working out. Uh, which is great because they counteract each other. Um, but Houston is an absolutely amazing food city. Um, any type of like food um, genre that you can, you know, imagine we have here. Um, we have a huge Asian influence. We have great, you know, Tex-Mex and Mexican food. Um, we have really just everything, everything under the sun. So you can have a different meal at a different restaurant probably every day of the year if you wanted to. Awesome. Well guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about moving to anywhere in the country, including Houston, Texas, let me know and I will connect you with an amazing agent out in that area. Katie, thanks for being on. Thank you. All right, bye guys.